you are so confident in the bill, and you seem to be, and you think that Canadians are on side, why do you not increase the oversight to go with it? And we've talked a lot about that. It's something other countries have put in place happily. If you believe that it is the right thing to do, what do you fear in allowing additional oversight as well? Absolutely nothing. Actually, we are increasing oversight and review in the bill. As you know, we are increasing the power of an intelligence agency. We are also expanding the authority of our watchdog, CERC, to look specifically, and it is written in the law that is now the law of the land, to look into those disruption capability, and they will have to report to Parliament. Look, even the oversight body, uh, Deborah Gray, who chairs it, says that the, uh, the spy agency is not telling them a lot of stuff. So that's why a lot of people say there needs to be parliamentary oversight and there needs to be a much more powerful oversight group over all of our security agencies. This legislation does not include any of that. Well, there's already a strong uh, uh, oversight body, as you've indicated, the uh, C-CERG. Uh, Ms. Uh, Deborah Gray and uh, this uh, honorable uh, group of fine individuals are supported by a team that has a deep and, and profound knowledge of the work of the intelligence community. So uh, we can be very proud of uh, what they're doing. And any additional would be just duplication because they are already acting on behalf of parliamentarians. Well, Mr. Blaney, a lot of judges would disagree with you on that.